Windhelm is a snowbound city that is no stranger to tragedy. The city dates back to the ancient Nords in the Merithic era. It was built by enslaved snow elves and was not just the first capital of Skyrim, but the capital of the First Empire. When the First Empire collapsed in the War of Succession, Windhelm was destroyed for the first time. Now, tragedy is once again on Windhelm's doorstep. There is a civil war in Skyrim. The Rebellion wants to get away from the religious persecution of the Thalmor. The best way the Rebellion sees to do that is to have Skyrim secede from the Empire. The leader of the Rebellion is the Jarl of Windhelm, Ulfric Stormcloak. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an Empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves! Most of Windhelm's resources are going towards the war efforts. The streets are patrolled by a small fraction of the normal number of guards. The town is quiet. Smoke from the small firelights and snow flurries wisp through the air. There is the occasional chatter, crunching snow, and footsteps on the cobbles as shops close down. But then, back to peace. Screams and cries for help break the silence. A guard and a few people nearby race to the cemetery where they find a gruesome scene. A bloodied, mutilated body laying among the tombstones. The victim is Susanna the Wicked. 